What's up gamers, it's time for the Sandbox News. This week they added NPCs. Not just bots, but NPCs. What you're looking at right here is a Mimic bot. It doesn't have any AI or anything, it just mimics my exact controls. This is what we've had so far. But now we have proper NPCs. You can't spawn them yet in Sandbox mode, but there's a separate AI lab mode that we're gonna look at soon. First, I wanna show off the changes to Construct. So this factory warehouse building I showed off in last week's video, I thought it might have been a cancelled prefab that they I never added, but it turns out it was actually still work in progress. Here it is in the actual game now. It's still work in progress, obviously, but it's very cool. Oh, here we have the staircase prefabs. I wonder if these are in hammer now. They should be. Can I break this glass? I don't think so. No. So it looks like this is going to be placing an old garage building that was here before. What's in it? There aren't any rooms in it yet. Is there anything back here? There's nothing back here either. They've also tweaked the road a bit and made it line up with the warehouse. Oh look, it's a dumpster. Wow, this is the future of gaming. It looks like this is going to be a tunnel maybe? Ooh, I wonder if they're going to expand it outwards. Oh, it looks like they deleted the skybox, so there's no longer a hill surrounding the map. How far does this go? The visibility isn't very accurate out here. Oh. I wonder what this is supposed to be. Well, we'll find out in the future. Now let's look at the AI lab game mode. So it looks like the NPC game mode isn't working right now. Fortunately, I already have some footage recorded of it. So basically you can spawn in NPCs and then you can tell them where to go and they'll navigate to it. It's just a very simple NPC nav mesh test. They don't interact with props very well right now. That'll get sorted out later. Here I have another video that I recorded. Wow. This is so realistic. It's like I'm actually a scientist. Do keep in mind this is very early work in progress. It's subject to change and you can even make your own custom NPC models if you want. I assume they work the exact same as the player model. There are a lot of game modes and maps being worked on now, so they updated the map list. You can sort by popular, newest, and local. Previously, it was just popular and local. Here we can see somebody's making a Fortnite map. Wow. I wonder which one is the oldest map. Oh, it's Flatgrass, followed by my Flatgrass Cool. Also, they started working on an RTS game mode. If you don't know what an RTS is, it stands for Real-Time Strategy. So basically, you build buildings, and then you build units and then you have wars with other players. Currently, they don't have anything coded, they just have a camera coded and a couple of placeholder models. This one is the headquarters. This is where your main base of operations is. This one is the brewery. I think it's where you get your resources or your money. This one right here is the vehicle factory. And this one is the Terry factory or the barracks. It's where all of your human units will spawn. This one is called the Watchtower. I don't know the purpose of it. It might be where you research everything. If you've played games like StarCraft or Company of Heroes, which I was actually playing earlier today, then I'm sure you're very familiar with RTSs. Personally, personally, I'm very excited for this. Maybe not specifically for whatever game mode they make, but I've been wanting to make an RTS FPS hybrid game for a very long time. There's this game Empires mod, which I absolutely love. I've actually made maps for this game. Unfortunately, it's too confusing for new players. You actually have to like learn hidden hotkeys in order to be able to play the game. So there's no players that play it anymore. The games only happen on the weekends, but this game is actually so much fun. I'm so excited because I can use Face Punch's base game mode to make something similar in Sandbox. Another thing you might notice is the HUD was changed for the Sandbox game mode. It's kind of hard to tell, but my inventory on the bottom is slightly different, and it looks like they removed the blood icon from By My Health. This map is Willow's swimming pool. It's got water in it. Now I'm in the deathmatch mode to show off the new animations that were added. Looks like they added a reload animation. And, oh, there's no SMG reload animation just for the pistol. How about for the crossbow? Oh, it looks like, I think that was the pistol reload animation. Let's see if I can find a shotgun. Here it is. Is there a reload animation for this? Um, kind of. It's all work in progress. What's not work in progress though is this video. It's actually over. So like, comment, and subscribe. Come back next week for more sandbox news or come back later in the week for a different not news video.